Hello boys and girls, welcome to episode 1 of how to code a Minecraft client. Particularly for hacking, um, you're going to want to download Java. If you don't have it installed, um, I'll give you the link. You're going to want to go to this page and um, see all Java downloads. And you're going to want to download the latest version 8, update 6.6, .6 and um, Windows Offline. If you have Windows for 32 bit, Windows Offline 64 bit. If you have 64 bit computer, Mac, download it here. Or any of the other operating systems. If you download and install that, you're going to want to download the Java Development Kit. I will give you the link to here. And you're going to want to just download the JDK. You're going to want to go there and accept right there for the Java Development Kit. You're going to download the version that you need for your computer 64 bit or 32 bit or Mac. After you have that installed, you're going to want IntelliJ or Eclipse. I prefer IntelliJ. It's, it, like it says, the most intelligent Java IDE. I agree with that. You want to download? Download the community version. The ultimate version, it's good and all, but you're not going to really need it, and you're going to have to pay for it after your 30-day trial. Right, once you have that installed, um, download the Minecraft Coder Pack 9.10. For Minecraft 1.8. So after you have those, you're gonna have these, and you're gonna want to download the Optifine source because if you want Optifine source, um, that gives you Optifine in your hat client. So let's get to it. Um, you're gonna want to open up the MCP folder, and you're gonna want to make a directory or a folder that's gonna hold your Minecraft hat. So I'm gonna make it in my Java Minecraft folder. I'm gonna name it YouTube because it's a YouTube tutorial, you know, so generic. I'm gonna copy all these folder files into here. It's gonna be relatively quick. There isn't too much in there. Um, you can close that now, and um, this is gonna be different if you're on Mac and Windows. If you're on Windows, you can just Simply just double click the decompile button. You're going to want to make sure you have Minecraft 1.8 already ran on your computer. And everything's going to be alright. If you're on Mac, you're going to want to open up your terminal in the directory of the MCP folder and you're going to want to um, make it run this. I don't know how because I don't have a Mac, but there's other tutorials of people doing it on Mac, setting up MCP on Mac. So you can follow those. There's many others. And after this is decompiled, there's going to be, I'm going to be showing it for IntelliJ, but if you prefer Eclipse, there's other tutorials how to set it up with Eclipse. Um, Alright, so let's just wait for this to fully decompile. I'm going to pause the video for now. Um, I'll get back to you once this is finished. Alright, this has finished by the looks of it. And now we're going to install Optifine into this. Um, you don't have to do this, but if you want to, just follow these steps. Um, go here, go to Minecraft folder in here, and as well, in the source folder, go to Minecraft. Delete the the MCP one in the source folder, and just copy that one over to it. That's going to add Optifine source as well as Minecraft source in there. So now let's open up IntelliJ or Eclipse, whatever you chosen to code in. I prefer Intel AJ though, and you're probably not going to have all these other stuff, but you're going to have that import project button, so we're going to be using that. Um, let's just give it a second in case it might cause a conflict if this isn't already like, copied over. It probably won't though. It's being very slow because I'm recording, so it's using a lot of um, disk feed. Alright, should be good. So, import project. Go to your um, C drive, um, users, Java, desktop. Just navigate to wherever you have it. I have it in Java, Minecraft. All right, YouTube client and Eclipse. You're gonna want it in the Eclipse one. So you're gonna select Eclipse and you're gonna import external model from Eclipse. 
Leave that alone. Click next. Unselect server. Leave client checked. And okay, you're gonna have this error, but whatever. We're gonna fix that in a sec. So we're gonna click um, project structure. And we're gonna go to modules. We're gonna have an error here. Um, you're probably just gonna have this. So we're gonna add a content root, and we're gonna select source and click Minecraft. So basically, you want it to have this, and then you want to select Minecraft. Or if it already has source, just let it be. And you can apply that. Um, paths. Not paths, dependencies. Alright. You're going to want to select um, the project SDK or 1.8. If you don't have either of them, click New, Java Development Kit. And you're going to want to go to Program Files, Java, and click the JDK one. Um, I'm going to leave it back to my default one. Alright, so you're going to have these errors. We're going to want to click the pencil. That means edit. And basically it's saying that they're unknown. So we're going to remove that and we're going to add. You guys might not have this error, but in case you do, I'm going to be showing you this. So go to jars, libraries, com, mojang, offlib, because it's the offlib up here. Select that and okay, everything will be fine. Click the pencil again. You're gonna want to remove this. Add, and we're gonna go want to go to jars again. Libraries, com, Mojang. And what is this? Realms. Just click the realms jar. And okay. Apply. Okay. Now we're gonna go here. Click this one. Edit configurations. Add. Application. And we're gonna do start because the the main void is in the start class for the minecraft code and for vm options we're gonna have to add the natives folder for for minecraft to run off so we're gonna do d java dot library dot path equal versions slash 1.8 slash 1.8 dash natives and right here, we're going to have to change this. We're going to change it to jars. And apply. We can change the name really quick. We just change it up here to client. All this stuff you probably don't have to do with Eclipse. You might have to, but there's other tutorials out there for setting it up. So we're going to press the, the little bug, which is debug mode. And it's just going to be... Um, Compiling all the classes so it can run in the in the debug state. It's gonna take a bit since it's their first time running it, and then I'll will have like it'll, you'll be able to edit on the fly using debug mode. So let's say you change some code, you can just press the make button and it'll live update while you're running the game. So. Now it's just going to be streaming out whatever Minecraft's printing out in chat. See, successfully installed Optifine right there because it says Optifine. And go to single player. It has a default world already set up in there and everything. And just wait for the world to load really quick. And yes, I'm going to change my settings because it's way too high of a sensitivity for me. Alright, controls. I like my. Mine on 60. Medium. You can do whatever you want. Alright, so there we go. We have Minecraft running out of Intel EJ. And before this tutorial is done, I'm just going to add a quick little thing so you can log in. Alright, so we're back into Intel EJ. We're going to want to go to the main dot java so it's minecraft net minecraft client main, main so we're gonna be right here and we're gonna make a new launch argument so just copy this oops accident accident All right, we're gonna copy this right there we're gonna name this username equal var1 dot accepts just like the other ones and we're gonna name it you name 
human. Right, yeah, human. And we're gonna just copy the rest of the other stuff, so with required arguments style of type string dot class. So it's gonna need to be a string. And we're gonna basically just gonna copy this again. And password keyword and um all right so we got those set up right yep yeah. all right now we go down here right above where it's setting the the session for minecraft basically all right we're going to make a new session um logins session gonna leave it that for now because we're gonna need to include a way to actually return a new session so let's go into the minecraft class and we're gonna want to go basically from the top all the way to the bottom and I'm gonna provide this code because it's pretty generic everybody has it and there's no point of me writing it out for you guys because you're not getting any benefit from it but it's basically a way to authenticate a session for yourself. Um, yeah, so it's just setting stuff, so we're going to keep that there at the bottom of the Minecraft. We're going to make sure it's in the class itself. We don't want it outside of it. So we're going to go back to the main, and we're going to make it equal a new Minecraft.getMinecraft.authenticate. And we're going to want it var... 21 because if we look what var 21 is it's basically parsing all this stuff and we're going to want to get the value of value of username and it's saying it's an object so we're going to want to cast it as a string fill the next parameter because if we look here it's asking for a string as a username and string as a password so we're gonna do the same thing right here so we might as well just copy this right here and just change this to password and what this is doing is it's going getting the information you input from these all right see now now we have this and it's not being used at all so it's just saying it's never used so we're setting the session right here we're gonna want to make a check if it equals null because if we look here it's gonna return null if nothing's being used or it's not an actual string and stuff doesn't like log in correctly yeah all right so we check if it's making null and this is basically a boolean so if it does equal null, it's just going to carry on and do the default stuff. If it isn't, we're going to add that right there. And we're going to just do login session. So it's going to call this, which is going to authenticate us as we log in. So we're just going to make project, basically. And we're going to go back into here in edit configurations and this is going to be our launch argument so we're going to do well, let's close this for a second let's see what we did you name and pa password keyword so we're going to go back into there and we're going to do dash you name equal and we're going to type in our our minecraft email for our minecraft account and we're going to do dash keyword and this is going to make it and we're going to do equal and we're going to do it type in our password i'm not going to put mine in for the purpose of you know i don't want my account out on youtube i could blur it out but i'm not gonna so you just want to apply that close and you can launch it and it will log you in into your account and you can go on multiplayer onto the no cheat test server for example thanks for watching i'm going to follow up this episode with another one pretty soon and we're going to be going over 
basic Java knowledge and things that could help you learn as like it, little fun interactive websites you can practice your Java on because you're going to want to actually know Java, you're not just going to want to copy what I'm doing in this tutorial. Anyways, talk to you guys soon. Bye.